is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Welcome to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. I'm Rob Piff here, a 21-18 victory over Southern Illinois. Coach, it's cold out here today. Kobe Johnson, 27-yard pass to get yep. things started. Just a, a second consecutive game where he came out of the gate and had a big play. Talk about that, Coach. Well, it was you know kind of a misdirection. Um, really used uh, Hunter Lipke kind of as a decoy. Uh, they were they were locked in on him early, and uh, we, we leaked the back out, the backside, and they didn't have anyone to run with it, and Cam did a great job of putting some air on the ball and making it where Kobe was the only one that was going to catch it. We talked a lot about interceptions and just the turnover battle. Dawson Weber had his first interception of the season. Yep. That was an important play in the first half. Talk a little bit about, about, about that, Coach. It was. I mean, they were taking a shot. I believe we were in cover two, went up and battled for it, got it, uh, and it was a big, big momentum swing right there, and, uh, you know, it, we need to do a better job of, of offensively scoring after those plays. We had pretty good field position right there. It would have been nice to come away with three, but still winning the, the turnover battle is critical in the, in the game. Got to talk about the play of LaShaka Rokes as well. Four tackles for loss. He and Luke Wirtz also had a half sack in this game. Uh, just talk a little bit about his play and a couple of huge defensive stops in this game as well for some well, guys. Well, you know, we, we had some big plays, and I think we got probably more pressure on their quarterback than probably a lot of teams have this year. He's a dynamic athlete. Everyone can can see that very uh, composed in the in the pocket moves well um, but Lashaka continued to just pin his ears back and go and played extremely hard along with you know the rest of our defense and uh, in the third quarter there that was a huge three and out offense got the ball back went right down and scored uh, that was fun to see that's complimentary bison football well let's take a look at first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank SIU to punt. This time, here's Hunter Lipke with his first gear. Look at the open room for Hunter Lipke. Cuts back inside. The senior bowl invitee all the way down to the 31-yard line. That's a gain of 24. Interesting to see here today. On a second down, Cam Miller. Oh, oh, wheel route time. Wide open. Kobe Johnson. Touchdown, North Dakota State. 27 yards. He was wide open. How many times do we see that play? Sixth opportunity here so far in the game. Baker gets that one. Nice play, though. Read that one perfectly. That's James Kayser on the tackle. Air from the Australian. That went off the side of his foot. This is not a good punt. Way out of bounds. Let's see where they mark this. NDSU is going to get some outstanding field position here. I don't know if that went past the sticks. Yeah, you're, that's a good from the Bison 43 yard line. The give is to Hunter Lipke on third down. He pushes his way forward for a Bison first down out to the 49 yard line. It's a gain of eight. Morning went all of three yards. It's Steindorf, a much better kick this time with his first of the day. And this is going to be another one inside the 20. Takes a nice Bison roll. And that's going to be downed at about the 12-yard line. And that's where SIU will begin. Well, he can guide him to a big win here today. It's third down. He wants to go deep down for Cox. And it's intercepted. It's Dawson Weber with the pick. Number two took it from number two. And a big-time turn. For the third possession. And Cole Payton keeps it on first down. And look at Payton. Lowers the shoulder and gets all the way out to the 37-yard line. How about it? another first down? Second down and eight. Play action here. Under pressure. Down he goes for a sack. Hendricks was in there to flush him first. Then a herd of Bison in there after that. He's now heading back to the locker room early. We'll be sure to give updates about this injury more. When we... issue. And you can say what you want about the points on the board, but that's one thing when you can move the ball, you can limit possessions for the other side. And that's what they've done here in this first half. And the issue with a Let's take a look at first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Coach, that first half, Bison ground game just 63 yards, but still, uh, you got to just compliment this running game. I know it got off to a little bit of a slow start, but 63 yards in the first half. Yeah, it was okay. You know, the second quarter, we, we started to try to, you know, test them on the perimeter a little bit, got away from some of our downhill runs, uh, which I think we leaned back on in the in the second half, especially in the third quarter there. So, um, you know, but again, uh, you know, our run game still takes a toll on people. It's a physical 
physical brand of football. And, and uh, you know, I like how we ended the game. That's all that matters. Two receptions for 39 yards in that first half as well. We're, you were able to pass the ball a little bit more in this ball game, Coach. Well, yeah, the wind wasn't necessarily or, or nearly as strong as it was a week ago, so we could throw the ball. And uh, there's a few throws we wish we had back right here to my left. Uh, there was a big throw down to Eli Green that might have got hung up in the wind a little bit and was inches away from being a huge play for us. But Cam continues to do a really good job. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's executing the offense. Uh, and he's putting the ball out there where, where our guys can catch it. We'll also have the second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank right after this. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. is on and it's about to get loud. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. I'm Rob Pipp, a 21-18 victory over Southern Illinois here today. And, uh, Coach, just want to talk a little bit about the second half. Uh, Michael Tutsi had some big tackles in this game. It was good to see him uh, just continuing a little bit of domination on that Code Green defense. Well, you know, Michael's a six-year senior. We expect those things from him. Uh, he did a great job, especially on the perimeter. Uh, we were worried all week long. They, they were such a big bubble screen, uh, bubble team, uh, smoke screen team, and getting the ball in the perimeter, especially number 15, who's an unbelievable uh, big back, Javon Williams. And so uh, Michael did a great job. And that's what we want our strong safety. He has to be able to tackle. Your team had a lot better opportunities just to get downhill, especially going yep. into that second half in the fourth quarter. Jake Lippy had a big catch on third, third down. down. Just talk a little bit about his play and just well, that ability to move the chains. <laughs> Jake continues to show up and make big plays for us. And that was, it was a great throw by Cam. Uh, I believe it was third and 12. Uh, you know, those third and extra longs, uh, those are those are those third downs you don't you, you don't have a lot of offense for. And you got to hit on the on the play plays you have that are set up for it and we did on that one and that was a critical third down conversion for us. Well let's take a look at second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Possession hasn't done anything since. 
Play fake here as Baker in the grasp of Wagey finally slowed up, still going, and finally brought down. Men's will finish. Roaring here on a third down. Miller waiting for something to develop, still waiting. Goes across the field to Stuffle, who comes up with a reception and a Bison first down. Talk about waiting. Third it out. down and 12. Miller wants it for Mathis, who's open. He's got a first down and out of bounds. We saw that. Last month at Terre Haute, he comes up with a big-time reception. He's out of bounds of the 24. Out of the final 90 seconds of the third. Tameric Williams leans forward. Look at this. Williams still moving the pile. Still going. Look at this. That's not a typical Bison run there. All the way down to the 11-yard line. It's a gain of 13. Uh, Goes into the game on third down. Miller wants to keep it himself. Cam Miller leading in. Signal touchdown. North Dakota State. Cam Miller. Gives the buys in the lead. Ayi with a first down from the 25. On the toss here on the jet sweep to Avante Cox. Brought down Michael Tutsi. Big time play for the six year senior. Boy, how many times have we seen 25 make this similar play? After they got the touchdown. Baker wants to throw. Waiting in trouble. And this time he goes down. The Bison defense gets to him. Darren and Wagey. And last drive that ended up with a touchdown. Miller waiting over the middle. Lippy with a first down. Big time reception for the Wisconsin native. He down is and six. We click down to six and a half to go. Johnson, look out for Kobe Johnson. Still going with the ball. Brought down big tackle. That's going to be a penalty flag as Bush is going to be. You three. Williams marks is in touchdown North Dakota State to Merrick Williams his third touchdown over the last couple of weeks at the end of the third quarter and SIU continues its struggles here in the fourth and down goes Baker on the sack Jackson Dutenheffer Burks will kick it that's going to be fielded right there and guess who got it James Kayser comes up with it for NDSU. He was a heck of an offensive player in high school at St. Cloud Tech. And he comes up with the onside kick recovery for North Dakota State. For Matt Ents in North Dakota State. Nick Hill knew they were going to throw the kitchen sink at the Bison. They certainly did that. Let's take a look at final stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Bison finishing up 149 yards on the ground. They're going up against a tough South Illinois, Southern Illinois team that only was allowing 100 yards per game. Overall, not a bad day as the game went on on the rushing side. No, when we needed it, we were able to run the football. And like you said, we got back downhill uh, with, with, with some inside zone, with some G, some of our pin and pull stuff. And I thought that was really effective. Tyler Roll and our staff did a great job offensively in that second half putting us in positions to score. Coach, penalties are what they are. I don't talk about them too much, but this team was able to work through adversity after some penalties. Talk a little bit about that, converting plays after penalties and getting first downs. Well, yeah, I think the one you're referring to probably was on the third down right there. Uh, we had a false start, um, and, and that's frustrating. We know the snap count. we got to be locked into the details, uh, but we were able to, to overcome it. A um, couple of the other penalties are just, you know, things that happen during the course of a game. Um, but I thought, you know, for the most part, the penalties really turned out to be pretty Pretty even throughout the game. Well, let's go now to Logan Campbell with our Nodak Insurance Player of the Game, James Kayser. James, the Salukis put up eight points with a minute left in the game. Onside kick, you were the one that recovered it. What was going through your mind before that play? Yeah, I knew they put 15 right behind the two kickers, and I figured he was coming for a middle dribble or something, so I knew if I got my chance, I'd be aggressive on it, and luckily I got it. Once you had it in your hands, what was the feeling that was going through your... Well, I was trying to pry it away from a few other guys <laughs> at the bottom of the pile, but once I got up, man, it was just relief to win that game. Team high, 14 tackles today. What was your mentality heading into this last road game of the season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a hard-fought game. It's a really good football team. Once we got out here, it was cold, wet. I knew they were going to to run the ball so I have my work cut out for me. What did the defense do so well today that you're hoping continues into the last game of the season? I mean, we just battled demeanor of play we've been harping on all week and the, the whole season and just coming out with the edge and we did that today. All right James congratulations on the win. James Kayser our NODAC insurance player of the game. Thanks, Logan. Again, James Kayser, coach. I had the privilege to talk to him several times throughout media interviews. Great young man, 14 tackles, two for a loss. Just talk a little bit about his play in this ball game. Well, it's all over the place. And you're talking about a senior guy who's played a lot of football. Um, 
very valuable to this program, not just on the football field, but as a leader and as a mentor of our young linebackers and defensive players. And so, you know, to hear him have 14 tackles doesn't surprise me. Um, he'll be the first one in tomorrow to watch film, and he'll be the most critical one of his play as well. And um, But I'm excited for him. That, that you know, I, you love seeing guys who are veterans and, and seniors, you know, playing their best football at the end of the season. Is there ever a time where James isn't smiling? He's always laughing, always smiling. Do you ever see him not smiling? Nope. He has a lot of joy in his life. Uh, you know, he's married, uh, very happy. Um, he's very grounded in his faith. And so um, it, I don't know if he has a bad day. And we all can learn something probably from Jake. Absolutely. We'll step aside, Coach. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll learn about Bison True freshman Kelton McCaslin. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. I live for adventure. Whether it's playing professional football or the solitude of being in the great outdoors. Through all my adventures, one thing I do know, life is unpredictable and full of change. Thankfully, some things remain the same. Important things like service, quality, expertise, and trust. From my childhood to today, Shields has my trust because it has been right there with me for all my adventures. Shields, right there with you. Powerful and playful. Delicate and precise. Bold and carefree. It's the way you move, and it moves us. To deliver care for your whole family. To provide options beyond the expected. To help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Sanford Health. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. Well, NDSU true freshman Kelton McCaslin has seen a quick elevation from the scout team to getting onto the field. Uh, the Illinois native made his collegiate debut last week back in his home state. WDAY's Dom Izzo visited with McCaslin about what the first few months of his college life has been like. It was really exciting, actually. Uh, Tony gave me a big hug right before I went on, and then... Uh, I don't know, I'm just grateful that I got the opportunity. What has been the most either uh, surprising or eye-opening moment or moments that have happened? Uh, probably the scout team against Cody Mock or uh, Mason Miller. Those are uh, interesting. Oh, describe that. What about it? Well, college football game. Right. I remember one time uh, Cody grabbed my shoulder pads and threw me to the ground real quick and then pulled me back up before I could hit the ground. Then I just realized, like, I don't know how much I can do against him if I really tried. So, when do you find out that you're going to? You said Wednesday. I mean, tell me about like the travel list when you find that out. And what for a freshman is there? Is it nerve wracking? Exciting? A little bit of? Yeah, I was just told to check my email, and then there it was on the travel list. So I didn't really know what to pack. I think I brought way too many clothes, but I didn't know if we were checking the bag or just throwing on our carry on, and then. Uh, a lot of food on trips, so that's nice. I had to gain some weight. How much fun do you have? And I know it's a lot to take in freshman year of college just to have all this happen. And are you, are you enjoying it? I'm having a ton of fun. Uh, I mean, it's stressful at times, but uh, the fun outweighs all the stress. Well, Coach, always great to hear from these young men, especially mm -hmm. Kelton McCaslin. Uh, you know, the Bison plays defensive end, but I wanted to ask, you know, he played wide receiver, linebacker uh, in, his, in his high school days. Just what are the strengths that you guys saw at the defensive end position? Well, he came to camp, and we were able to, for three days, really dive into him as a defensive end and see the tools that he had. He's big, long, you know, 6'4", 6'5", uh, probably 230 pounds right now, probably has room for another 20 to 30 pounds once we let Coach Kramer have him in the offseason. But high end. And IQ. Dad was a college football coach, and it's funny, we always go back to that. You talk about guys like Michael Tutsi, James Kayser, um, 
you know, Kelton McCaslin. We have so many guys on this football team that have had great success who come from kind of a, a football background, a, a dad's coach, and he's just another one of those that came in and really adjusted, transitioned really well early, and um, hopefully we can continue to redshirt him. Uh, we have three games left. We'll be really smart with those, but uh, he's been a, a, a really great addition to our program. It's a great young man out there on the scout team. Just where do you really see his role starting to develop as time goes on? Well, he's, he's right. Probably early it'll be more of a situational defensive end, third down. He can pass rush. Um, and then as he continues to add weight, add strength, and get a better understanding of what we're doing defensively, I anticipate he'll play on some early downs as well. But this spring will be will be huge. It's always First spring is always critical for all of our first-year freshmen. Kelton McClasland, another young man we'll keep an eye on as things continue here for the Bison. Well, this week's great clip, great question of the game. That's brought to you by Great Clips. It's from Richard in Fargo. Coach, he wants to know, who has had the biggest influence on your career? Really good question. Uh, you know, my coaching career, probably two coaches. Uh, of course, Bob Nielsen, head, current head coach of South Dakota, was my college football coach. And, you know, I probably paid more attention to him than he probably thought at the time. Uh, and then Tom Sawyer. Uh, I worked for Coach Sawyer at Winona State for nine, ten years and uh, was very impactful in, in how I have kind of moved forward in my career. Uh, the relationship building that I have with our players, um, a lot of that comes from both of those coaches because uh, they both poured into me as, as players and young football coaches. And um, now I'm just pack, you know, paying it forward. We'll step aside, take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about North Dakota. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is Jack. Jack loves sports, and since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. Well, Coach, here we go. Looking ahead to next week, the Harvest Bowl. Going to be a great matchup versus North Dakota, the Fighting Hawks. Uh, that Harvest Bowl, just what makes this game special against North Dakota? Well, just I'm going to emphasize last game of the year. And Harvest Bowl, uh, with the rich tradition of, of being an agricultural-based institution, uh, has a lot of meaning to a lot of the people in the state of North Dakota um, and also to a lot of our players who are in that agriculture department and the other thing that is 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 unique and special this week is how we celebrate it in regards to our senior class and this is senior week 
um, we give an opportunity for all of our seniors to get up and visit with the team and talk about their experience. Um, and it, it, it's about as impactful of a, of a five minute conversation as you're going to hear. Um, the freshmen, uh, all eyes are open, their ears are open, um, and, and our, our seniors do a great job of talking about how this program has, has changed them and what it means to them. So really looking forward to a, to a great week. I know that you always look at one each game 1-0, and but I did want to ask you, getting down to the wire here, playoff seating coming up on the line, got to get through this game, but just how important is that home game to, to have it at home and not on the road to wrap up the season? Wow, oh, it's it is what it is. I, I don't. I really don't impact the the conference schedule. Um, we love playing in front of the Fargo Dome. Our student section has been, you know, off the charts this year. I think every ticket's been taken for every home game. We anticipate one more. And uh, like I said, with with all the things that are going on this week, and, and most in particular Senior Week, uh, I'm excited about our kids and the energy and the enthusiasm they're going to have going into it. Coach, just final question, something off the field. We talked about it on the radio side. wanted to give you an opportunity to bring it up here on the TV side. Your team got to go to the Veterans oh, Hospital sure. and, and talk to some folks. Just how important was that for them to be around those heroes here over the past week? Well, you know, it's it, it was Veterans Day on Friday. We didn't have school. Um, you know, before we got on the flight, before we got really going with any of our football activities on Friday, uh, we probably had maybe two dozen players go over to the uh, Veterans Hospital there on the north side of Fargo. And just a way for us to, to, and it shouldn't just be Veterans Day, it should be all the time, but we saw it as an opportunity to get some of our young men in front of true heroes. Uh, a lot of times players get labeled as, you know, role models and mentors. Well, the, these gentlemen are true role models. With, so. They are. Well, Coach, appreciate all that you do yeah. and, and with this team. And as always, looking forward to next week. Going to yep. be a good one. want to remind you, Bison Nation, come up, be loud. Get those tickets at GoBison.com. And as always, horns up and go Bison. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.